Anastasia and today we are going to fix a rip in a pair of jeans because I put on a pair of my favorite jeans the other day and well I put my foot right through them not cool so we're gonna fix them if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you know when all my new videos come out supplies for this project are very basic First, you're gonna need a piece of scrap fabric that matches your denim, and it just needs to be a little bit bigger than the rip in your jeans. Next, we're gonna need matching thread to your denim color. This might be a little hard to find, but you can do it. And we're also gonna need some pins to pin down this patch we're putting on, and your scissors. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our scrap piece of fabric and we're gonna put it into our jeans and pin it down. So I'm leaving my jeans right side out and I'm gonna put this piece of scrap all the way down into my pants. Now the reason I'm putting it in there is so if it comes apart just a little bit while I'm sewing, it's not gonna show through. And that way there's something for the thread to grab onto when it's creating the stitch because obviously my pants have kind of disintegrated here. So now that I've got it under here where the hole is, it's going all the way down to the bottom and up to the top, you can start pinning it. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. I'm gonna start at the top and I just want to secure this scrap piece of fabric that's inside my pants. Now you wanna make sure that you're pinning everything really flat and that it's not bunching up in the back. So I like to put my hand in here and feel around every once in a while. And I also want to keep these close together. So hopefully when we stitch it back, it roughly looks like I did not just patch my pants. Now that I have one side pinned down, I want to make sure this other side is coming over to where the rip is. I don't want to leave a big gap in here because it's going to make my pants bigger and you're going to see that scrap piece of fabric. So this is really hard over here by the zipper. Um, so I might put a pin way out here just to keep it in place. But now down here, I can pin it closer. So you just wanna keep going all the way down your rib and keep these two pieces of denim on the right and left as close as possible. It's gonna make it easier when you're sewing it in the sewing machine if you do a really good pinning job. There we go. I am all pinned up. Now that we have our pant rib all pinned up, we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q. So the first thing we need to do is select our stitch. So I'm gonna to go to the blue zigzag and I want to select my mending stitch, which is gonna be number 16. You also might have a stitch like this on your sewing machine if it's not this particular machine. I like to use this one for mending because it comes down a couple stitches and then over. So it's a variation of a zigzag stitch. So if you don't have this stitch, you can totally use a zigzag stitch, which is going to look like this. And you can make it wider or you can make it longer as well but I'm going to be using number 16 and I'm gonna leave it at the preset settings. So if you're not using stitch 16 and you're using a zigzag stitch, I want you to go ahead and make your stitch a little wider and a little bit longer because generally the preset for a zigzag is pretty tight and narrow. First thing I'm gonna do is take off my sewing machine bed or table, whatever you like to call it. So pop that off. And that way, we have more room to work with on the leg of the pant. We can actually get it on the end. So I want you to slide your pant leg all the way on to your machine. I'm gonna slide it all the way to the bottom of where my rip is. So when I sew, it's gonna be a series of small back and forths, and I'm gonna go work my way up the pants. 
So if you have any pins right here that are gonna be by the foot, go ahead and take those out before you put your presser foot down. Make sure you hold your fabric nice and flat and make sure you don't poke yourself with the pins. We've got a lot of pins right here. Now I'm gonna go backwards and pull my fabric to the left. And I'm gonna come forward. Now I'm gonna go backward and pull my fabric to the left. I'm gonna take out some more pins. Make sure your fabric is staying overlapped. Make sure it's not pulling apart. So this is gonna be a back and forth motion and notice how I'm moving it over to the left because obviously our sewing machine doesn't move right and left. And these extra little threads right here, don't even worry about them, just sew over them. Make sure you take these pins out, but keep your fabric closed. Look at that, we're closing up that hole. It's looking great. So now I'm changing directions here a bit because I'm in the crotch area and I wanna come all the way over here to the seam. Okay, now I'm gonna change directions again. And I wanna come straight up to where the zipper is. Now I have to be really careful that I don't hit the zipper teeth anywhere in here. I'm at the end and I wanna give it a few good back stitches. Okay, let's cut it and check it out. See if we need to go over anything. So the hole on our jeans is all sewn up. There is no more rip, no more thigh is gonna pop through these jeans. But we have one last step. We need to flip our jeans inside out and cut off the extra fabric. So here's our extra fabric chunk and we can go ahead and cut off the extra. I like to leave at least a half inch outside of those stitches I put on here. Any extra threads you can go ahead and cut. You could also use pinking shears on the outside of this when you cut it. Okay, so let's flip it right side out and check it out. So we can still see some of the white threads, which is the thread running the opposite direction in the weave. So you could dye your pants or take a Sharpie or a paint marker and that will take care of that white thread that you're seeing. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you right away. And if you love the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And if you're in Chicago, make sure you stop by and take a sewing class with me. And if you haven't seen my Patreon account lately, make sure you hop on over and check out all the ways you can support Sew Anastasia. It means so much to me. If you're in Chicago, stop by and take a sewing class with me in the studio. They are so much fun. And I would love to make you a custom garment. Reach out to me and have something custom designed by me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.